Hey Aaronette, it's Aaron, your personal driver. And today, I'm gonna show you my setup. And hopefully, some of the items I have in here will be useful to you. All right, let's start it up and go. I swore I would never, ever, 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 under any circumstance, do a YouTube video from my car. Because that's what every single YouTube person does, and I think it's kind of cheesy. But uh, here I am, doing the thing I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, hope you guys like the video. And uh, hopefully you can learn something from it. Okay guys, so uh, this is the driver's side of the car. Uh, like always, I keep my air freshener here to keep the car nice and clean. Keep an extra pair of earbuds for when I, I'm waiting for a ride and uh, I need to watch some Netflix. But what I, I have the camera set up here for right now is I wanted to show you something that's really important. Anyway guys, I just want to remind you to never buy a car to do Uber and never buy accessories that do not bring you tips directly. Uh, that being said, you need to buy a car for your lifestyle that you can Uber in and buy accessories for you and your family that will also be helpful within uh, the Uber world. Now the first thing I want to show you is my internet, how I get my internet guys. And my car, it's what makes my car hotspot. So here it is right here. I'll get maybe a closer picture of it inside. So what you do is, um, in this here, you click this off here, like that. You see that? And inside is a phone, um, a phone card. Uh, that means you get internet anywhere you get cell phone reception. Uh, it's unlimited on my plan. It's just like adding a phone, a uh, family member phone to your plan. It's amazing. And that right there connects to any port in any car, so it's universal. Like if you're gonna get the progressive plug-in or if you're a drunk driver and you are uh, you need to blow into the car, this is the power source for it. And um, they're under the driving wheel. Every car has them. I'll show you where mine is right now. Okay guys, I wanted to get you a picture of my Dash cam, see so how it plugged in there. It goes all the way around. And then it comes out right there. And then I have it go under my carpet. And then it comes to this port right here. As you can see that, seeing this you can close or you can open it for an extra port should you need it. There, of course, is my tablet my phone holder and then I also have a magnetic phone holder for when I'm doing Uber and Lyft at the same time which is something you should be doing okay okay and that's the camera from the outside you can see the wire going up there so it's not the prettiest of things it is however um, great for the price point now I know a lot of you are gonna be like Aaron Aaron what the heck you don't have any trade dress on so let me address that right now I do have trade dress but I like to be able to remove it from my window shoot if I want to, so stickers only. Okay guys, so here's my Uber sign. Here's the back side of it. There's a button, turn it on and off. Inside here, you just remove these little peg right, pegs right here. And you can see the batteries. So you can get two batteries right there. And you just put it on here like this. Strap it on. And it works during the day fine, but I, I like to work the night a lot. And at night, this shines bright blue. So with the suction cups, you just stick it right here. Boom, like that. Now I'm working. But since I don't do this full time, and I'm driving around, I don't want to advertise Uber or whatever, just take one off like that. I also have one for Lyft, but I do Lyft in Oregon. So when I'm up here in Washington, I um just do Uber. Now Uber is coming out with a new sign. It lights up and uh, it syncs with the customer that you're picking up. So I'll be throwing this away when, uh, when I get mine from Uber. But until then, I like this a lot. It's a really good work. And I, you gotta put one in the back too if you're gonna do pickups at the airport, just to let you guys know. Or drive in Seattle, that's important. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the inside of the car. So I have these beautiful Uberman headrests, which I'm telling you, get you extra tips, these wonderful Eight ounce Costco waters, they're super cheap and nice clean interior. 
let's bring it inside. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so this is what I would call the uh, customer view uh, from the back seat. Um, I have here the Uberman headset covers. Uh, as you can see, they're really easy to install and to mess around with. This is the back cover. You simply remove the card, put a new card in, and you get about two dozen of these. So they range from President's Day to Martin Luther King Day, all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, I keep it simple. Tips are not mandatory, but highly appreciated because I think tips are the most important part of the job. Do a video on why later. And you see they just simply go over the head seat cover there. Boom, easy as can be. Now, you, you have the uh, tip jar here with a selection of candy. And I know you guys are thinking that's too expensive, but trust me, that candy's left over from Halloween. Uh, no one eats candy. They like that it's there, but no one grabs it really. And uh, so, here comes a car. Okay, and so it just sits there and that's fine. But there is a place to tip. Let's see if I can lift this up a little bit uh, so you can see it. All right guys, so I'm doing kind of a late uh, video on this. I forgot to show my candy box and how it works and stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick video on that. <laughs> it's late at night, so there's no light. So sorry about the word shadows, but it is what it is. I wanted to show you guys. So this is my candy box right here. And uh, I'll show you all the features on it. It's really awesome. Uh, there's a, a link in the description to where to get it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the box here. So there's a slot in the bottom here and in the back right here for customers to insert cash money. And I like it because I feel like this is an easy way to make money. You get a tips all the time, you won't even know because people just see it take some candy, drink a water, whatever, and then throw a couple bucks in the back. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's like a residual money that you don't know you're making, making it boosts the tips. So on this, the top goes up and down. And actually on mine, if you see, it broke, so it comes off. And uh, I was offered a refund or a new one to replace the fact that it broke off. But really, honestly, it'd be easy to fix. See, there's hinges there on it but I like it without the top and here's why and when it's on there the idea is the light on the bottom which you can see right there that is the light they send you it makes the top glow like neon green and so it looks cool at night but remember I have a tablet um, and so it's not really dark in my car as much and honestly when it's when you have candy in here like this the light doesn't really get to this so you don't get the effect glow unless you use um, something like mints or uh, packets of gum, car, you know, something like that. Something that allows the light to get through it because when the light's coming from the bottom. Now, this comes off, so you could potentially put the light, like a light LED light or a bright white light here. Um, a, lot, a lot of times people put it under here, but I I prefer it without the top, especially during the day, it's better to drive without the top. And uh, see, this is the part right here. You just put some candy in there, or whatever you need to, gum, whatever. And then here is a locking mechanism that locks into here. And then don't forget, this also on the side has a little locking feature. So you can make sure that your cash is safe, uh, especially if you are you know, getting out of the car to go to the bathroom or whatever. So, if you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, there is a, a big, you get a little lock about that big, put it on there, keep the key in your pocket, open it like that to go get your cash, close it up. On this side, there is a wonderful feature for cards. So if you have your own cards, a lot of people, especially Lyft people, have cards, you can put that there so people can take them without even having to offer them. And then the bottom, as you can see, so this is a little clip, and the clip goes around your mid, the middle of your car, uh, that little dash part in the middle, with the armrest, and it ensures that it, um, so you can just open it like that and close it like that, and it ensures that no one can just lift the box and run with it. It, take, it prevents a drunk person basically from grabbing it up, and uh, it's, it's pretty secure. And um, so what's supposed to happen is right here, there are supposed to be a charger, chargers that go through here and lock on the back. But I have an electric car 
and so I don't like extra charging. So I have chargers in my car. <laughs> I give them to customers, but I don't like give it free advertising. So I'll try to put a picture here if I haven't already of what it's supposed to look like because there's there's charts. I just took them off. I didn't like them. Um, but here's the thing about this box is that I think it's like 80, 90 bucks, something like that. These guys have been doing it forever. And I mean, in the first weekend it paid off. Um, I'll see if I can find an, an old video I did or a review of it. I think I made like 80 bucks one weekend on the first weekend I had it. And so, yeah, it was, it's awesome. And people are cheap, but when they see cash in here and they see a hole in there, you know, and then they have, you have the Uberman signs, they go, oh, maybe I should leave a dollar or two, you, you know. But it's, you, it's an awesome way to do it because you're not asking. You're not saying, hey, can I have a tip? But you're letting the customer know, hey, maybe you should give a tip. You see what I'm saying? It's like, um, I, I consider it residual income that you don't expect. You don't even know you're going to have it. You know, you drop three or four people off in a row. All of a sudden, you got a five in there and a couple of ones. <laughs> For some reason, quarters. People love to tip me in quarters, which is fine. I guess, but uh, anyway, I just want to get this review in there of the of the box that you can see the console. Anyway, have a good one. And you can see here I have one phone, and then I have an, the uh, plug-in right there for. Or and I, ha as you can see here, I have the phone, and I have this magnet here for a second phone, because you got to do both platforms. You got to do Uber and Lyft, guys, to make any money. I also like to display it right there in the front so the customer can see that you are going the route that is most efficient, unless they have a different preference. So I just wanted to show you that this is the, okay guys, I just want to show you that this is the phone mount that I have. And uh, why I got it is because one, you see this right here, it's really important. It's the spring load clip. So it clips into your air vent, doesn't move. It's really fantastic. And this bottom part here adjusts. You can see that the way. So that way you can fit it on your air vent again and it stabilizes and just sits there. But the reason this is important, guys, this is a wireless charger. So you plug your, your charger into the bottom here and any kind of phone that wirelessly charges can charge off of this. And that's important not only for Uber, and but for Lyft or Juno or whatever else you guys are doing. Now, a lot of you have more than one phone, and I think that's smart. That's the good way to do it, guys. And this will charge any phone that's wireless. So I just can switch phones at will. Bada bing, bada boom, in and out. Also, it's good for my wife. When my wife gets in the car, she can plug her phone in. You don't have to mess with the cords. It's just like, it's just easy, simple. Watch. Here's the, here it goes. Boop. And you just push down, and it releases automatically like that. Look. That phone is not coming out. That is in there. So that's the, that's the mount I use. It's uh, fantastic and uh, it fits my lifestyle. I think any driver that uses more than one phone would love it. Just plug it in, plug and play. I'll adjust that down. Now right there is my tablet, which hooks into the internet that you saw previously. And I usually have movies playing or um, I have direct TV. So sometimes I put the game on if there's a game on cable. Uh, I also have the NFL and MLB packages, so I'll have a baseball game or a football game on. Again, I wouldn't get these things just to do Uber, but I like football, I like baseball, so I get those packages anyway, and I get to write my direct TV off, I get to write my partial my phone bill off, internet anyway, and I get to write the MLB and the baseball packages off. Now, the tax guy said I can't write them off in full but I can do partial and that's fair because let's be honest, I watch the games at home and stuff too and that's not for business. The next thing I wanted to show you is my tablet holder. So you can see how I mount it and I'll be honest, if I bought another one, I would buy one that had a longer length to maybe get it up here because uh, it sits kind of low in the car, but it is fabulous for the price. And the way it works is you have these clips. These are detachable, see, come out. They have all kinds of different sizes, so you can fit any kind of tablet you want to. And then this just comes up. See, it's how it's spring-loaded, and it comes down on your tablet. So the installation is as follows, and it's super duper easy. See right there, boom. And then this bottom part adjusts for whatever cup holder you have. 
See, boom. So it'll fit there nice and snug. Customers won't be able to take it away. Now, once again, don't buy things for Uber. But who doesn't want a tablet? Who doesn't want that? If you got kids, I got kids, man. So being able to put on Trolls the movie or Cars the movie on that tablet, have unlimited internet, they can watch YouTube in the back, and I get to write it off. And I get to write it off. And I get to write the tablet off, I get to write the internet off, I get to write the stand off, and my kids get to use it? Oh, get the fuck out of here, hell yes. Hell yes. Get it Uber, for, get it, get it, use it. I can watch every football game in my car, in between rides. During rides, I'll have the audio. It's amazing. It makes life so much better. If you're on a slow day, especially you guys at the, who go to the airport, never go to the airport, but I know a lot of you do, and you have nothing to do for like an hour and a half waiting for a ride. If you have a tablet in your car with internet, unlimited internet, well there, you can watch all your Netflix. You can watch all your shows at home. The game at the airport while you're waiting for rides. I just saved your life. I just made your life better. <laughs> Even if you sleep at the airport, which I know a lot of you do, put a lullaby on, man. Lullaby yourself to sleep on your tablet. It is amazing. Hey everyone, this is my son. I woke him up when I was doing videos. Say hi, Ernest. Hi, Ernest. Say like, comment, subscribe. Play and slide. Say put comments below. Put comments below. One over here now and say, if you guys want to be an Uber, Lyft, or Juno driver, um. you can click the links to the left hand side and they'll go ahead and take care of that for you. Thumbs up, point. Okay, say bye internet. Bye internet, thumbs up in the comments. Th yeah, thumbs up in the comments, that's right. Johnny, were you supposed to be sleeping? Yes. Daddy woke you up? Yes. Yeah. Now you're doing videos on the internet, huh? Yes. Is it fun? Yes. Tell the people what they want to hear, Johnny. Who's your favorite Avenger? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. All right, bye internet.